I'm a resident artist in Harlem, and I live in this quite unique studio apartment, my crest to the river, called Sparna. And I'm working on a new series of paintings that are going to be shown in two exhibition spaces in the city this fall. I'm working here completely alone. Yeah, I spent a lot of time sitting in front of the studio and just watching the reflections, the boats and the everyday life. The studio building is a historic shipyard, which was turned into a studio apartment. And this situation, it's, uh, it's very fortunate for me because I wanted to spend um, a period of time to escape out of my comfort zone and to clear my head, work on new ideas and to be able to focus only on my work without any distractions. This is important to me because I wanted to create a new painting series and work on something different from, from what I've done in the past few years. I started working on, on the paintings in the beginning of September and I have two months to finish 14 paintings and many of them are very large. plans for the paintings here um, in Harlem. So when I arrived, uh, there, was, there was no plans for the future paintings. I had some ideas where I, I wanted to go, but I think that uh, being here just affected the way I composed the images. It turned out different than it would be uh, in Hungary, I guess. Since 2016, I'd been making my paintings by using a self-invented paint scraping machine that scrapes the paint off the canvas. And the idea is to erase the brush strokes to be able to create a, a very thin surface of paint, which is uh, reminiscent of the printed images and also digital screens. Before I started to use the paint scraper machine, I was I was inspired by the visual language of old prints, like illustrations from the, from the 60s and 70s. I really like these illustrations because of their reduced style, containing only a few colors and using simplified outlines. This is similar to what I like to do in my own paintings. It's also necessary to be able to use my paint scraping machine. Because of my paint scraping process, I have to paint the entire image in one day. Otherwise, the paint will dry to the primer. So I have to work with color fields which I like to do anyway. There is no need to add any gestures or gradients because the paint scraping machine will do this. So what I do is to put a lot of paint on the canvas and leave a part of it blank. Then I scrape the paint, which builds up on the, on the front of the blade. And as soon as the thing that I call paint sausage reaches the empty canvas, it starts rolling. And it creates a ghost-like image of the original composition. 
what I do can be considered as visual sampling. I collect all kinds of images I like, or I take photos myself, and then I decontextualize and, and recontextualize these images and create basically a collage out of the elements. Here in Harlem, I wanted to create these symphonic compositions by using uh, only a few motifs and sometimes leave a large part of the painting sort of empty. So the elements I use are floating in quote-unquote cosmic space. I'm working with shiny metallic objects, paint tubes, matches, flames, eruptions, volcanoes and grotesque but also gorgeous sea animals. And I often use the layout design of old candy wrappers which is something I did in the past as well. The idea is to use the entire arsenal of my painting skills instead of scraping an image in one action. And I want to add these three-dimensional looking shapes and photorealistic effects. I always liked the 17th century Dutch and Flemish still life paintings when painters were fascinated with the optical effects of mirrors and, and highly polished surfaces. The tubes are self-references and uh, being a painter that is quite obvious. On one of the compositions, a face-like shape comes out of the tube, just like a genie let out of the bottle. The elements of fire, the eruption, burning, symbolize the destructive nature of modern culture. Also, as a creative, you should burn pretty fast to stay relevant and to be able to keep producing. I really reached my limits. I was working here for a little more than two months. And it was interesting to experience that, that uh, what's the maximum that I can achieve uh, in a two months long working period. Yeah, it was, it was more intense, but it felt really, really good to me. I wanted to be alone and away from from everything and uh, yeah, just to get lost totally in painting.
the title of the exhibition will be Image Trap, which is actually myself. I trap the analog and digital images and visuals circulating around me. And I use them as visual samples by looking for a certain sound. To freeze them into symphonic large scale compositions. Thank you. 